Not sure if sourcing from China is still viable during and after COVID. By the end of this video, we will make sure that that question is answered for you along with other questions that you may have. So be sure they stay tuned. Now for the best Amazon FBA tips and tricks and best advice, be sure that you subscribe to this channel as I post brand new videos every single week. For 90% of our suppliers and, and the suppliers that my students you know, work with have simply been back to 100% you know, full throttle as it used to be before uh, COVID. So what does that exactly mean to you? That means that that, you know, China is literally one of the biggest, if not the biggest manufacturing uh, countries, right? And uh, their infrastructure had to be strong enough or they even had to make it strong enough to simply battle this, uh, you know, this pandemic because you gotta understand, you have a country that's solely responsible or solely reliable on, you know, on manufacturing, right? And if they went down and when they did go down, the entire country as a whole took a big hit. And you have to understand, there are you know a couple billion people, I think a billion or a billion five of people that live in China. So when you have an entire country simply on lockdown, you know, we in the US we have about 330 million people, you know, and we're not even on lockdown 100 percent People are still, you know, the, the economy is literally suffocating and suffering. And it's it's about to, it's like on the last thread before it just like goes, you know, bananas, right? So you've got a, an economy like China with you know over a billion people that are relying heavily, if not solely, on manufacturing, and uh, and you know so they had to really fix things very quickly and make sure that they get people back together, back to work, to making sure that you know uh, their economy is not destroyed forever, right? And another thing that many people don't understand is that China has been in the manufacturing. Um, kind of field and sector for decades now and I still remember ever since I was a little kid my older brother would take me to like shops or whatever he used to like watches and he used to like like he was more of a collector right so every time we would go to places uh, you know back then China was like oh this is cheap don't buy it it's China right uh, he used to buy things that were made in Korea or Japan you know still kind of you know uh, uh somewhere around that part of the world right in, in asia but uh but recently in the past couple of decades things have definitely changed especially with amazon sellers e-com sellers like little look around your house almost everything that you see is literally built in china or made in china it's like the iphones i don't know if you guys have seen but in the back of your iphone if you go right now and look at it it's gonna say designed in the u.s assembled in china like um it's made in china like what are you talking about right just say it's made in china so that's the thing that many people don't understand is that an entire economy can just collapse because of a little setback now yes you know i might be you know saying little and it's not really as little because you know millions of people have been infected around the world and uh infected and uh and and tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands have died or will die by the end of this whole thing and and billions of people around the world have you know been affected literally every single economy in this world the entire global economy has been affected but another thing that you guys have to understand is that china cannot just simply go away because of what happened the world's manufacturing relies heavily on things that come from china now does that mean that other you know uh, um, other economies or other manufacturing uh, resources might not uh, or might arise because of this absolutely I know we are actually looking at other resources like Mexico uh, Korea Japan you know we're looking at India as well we're looking at Pakistan as well but the thing is these countries just don't have the infrastructure already in place and it will take years if not decades until they have you know, reliable resources where you can go on a website like alibaba.com and then simply be able to find almost anything you can think about. You can almost manufacture anything you want, you know, or take a trip to uh, Shenzhen or Shanghai and literally be able to find a manufacturer for anything, you know. So it's it would take a long time, decades before some, you know, before China is replaced, if that will ever happen. However, for the next two, five, even 10 years, 
I truly believe, I strongly believe that China will still remain to be the main manufacturing uh, country, the main manufacturing economy when it comes to your products, especially your products to be sold on Amazon. Now, the winner for last week's giveaway is Rebecca Scott. If you want to be entered to win the step-by-step -step guide on how to launch a successful business on Amazon giveaway, be sure to drop in the comment section BJKU and for you to enter to win the chance. The second point that I want to make in this video is the fact that in 2016, Chinese workers, factory workers, experienced a massive increase in their minimum wage, okay? And they went from, um, I'm not sure how much it was, but it, they got increased by 65% to $3.60. That's after the 60% increase, they were starting to start to getting paid $3.60. Now, if you start just kind of thinking about it, and then let's compare it to a city in, in the U.S. or a state in the U.S., uh, and I'm going to take my state because I live in California, in San Diego. In San Diego County, minimum wage is $11.50, and before COVID, it was expected to be about $13.50 by 2021 or 2022. So that's about four to five times almost double the minimum wage of you know factory workers in China. So just Think about that for a quick second. Imagine if everything was being manufactured in California, let's say, right? For instance, just the comparison. If you take, you know, uh, 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 $3.60 minimum wage employees and compare it to $11.50 minimum wage employees, that's four times the the, uh, uh, the the kind of the labor, right? So literally, if, if let's say your iPhone cover case, you bought it on whatever website for $11.99, you would now be buying it for $40.99, right? So just imagine the inflation of prices that will literally happen if, you know, China were to go away and then another, you know, uh, uh, and, you know, it was replaced by, let's say, uh, you know, products be manufactured in the U.S. or any other European country or, you know, U.K. or any other North American country like Canada or even Mexico for that. Um, you know, just the, the inflation and prices that would simply happen would be crazy and massive. Now, I truly hope that the last few minutes have shed some light on your quest and answered some of your questions. Now, if you'd like me to walk you through the Amazon journey step by step, I have made available on my team's calendar a couple of spots where we'll jump on a call with you personally, we'll figure out what's holding you back, come up with a game plan and see if working together is a great fit. And if you'd like to be considered, there's a link in the description. That's actually the first link. Go ahead and click on it, apply, and let's jump on a call. Once again, guys, Bashar Arka2 here. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. If you found this video valuable, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend who might like this video. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to check out some of these videos right here, right here. I'm not sure where those are going to be. Until next time, I'll see you then. Have a great day.